What's up guys, it's Mike from Fishing Flukes, um, back with another video. Uh, in this video, we got a lot to cover. By the way, this is for Dana, my girlfriend. Hi, I'm Dana. <laughs> Alright, so in this video, we're going to be doing a lot of things. I got several shipments in. The first thing is I'm going to show you actually some new stuff that I got. So let's start with the fishing rods first. Um, start from that, yeah. So, you already know of this. This is my Quantum. They're both Quantums, all right? Quantum Octanes, bait caster reel. With, uh, right now I have, um, it's fluorocarbon, right? And um, I have my extra wide gap hooks on that. I usually use that for like, uh, for worms and other things. Some baits. Now this one I just got actually today, and I'm happy about it. The first thing I got in actually, Shimano, uh, the re um, uh, reel covers, sorry. These things are pretty sick. And underneath, this is my Abu Garcia, um, let's say both of them. This is the Vendetta rod. It's um, six foot six, six, foot six medium, um, 817 pound line. And I'm using right now uh, braid on there. So I use this mostly when I, um, I guess for frogging. I do a lot of frogs and then mostly my cranks and hard baits are on this. And then I just got a, um, this other one. This is the one that uh, Dana uses a lot. So. My baby. This is her baby. I got this for her. It's um, it's an Inferno. Sorry, it's an Inferno um, uh, rod with a uh, Xterra reel, and it's a spin caster. And it's a short one, so it, you know it works. For her. <laughs> All right. Lighter too. Yeah. We'll be going over a lot of the lures too today. But important thing, mystery tackle box. I got, I was so excited when this showed up. So we got the mystery tackle box, and another thing I got in the mail were um, O-rings. I bought uh, some O-rings off of eBay from this guy. So, um, shady guy on eBay. No, not some shady guy. Um, he hooked me up really well, and honestly, really great, um, you know, service. I'll probably put a link to his stuff on there, on the channel. So let's get on with this. Open it up. All right, you're gonna read that. All right, so the first one. That is the Threadfin Shad Bait Ball Crankbait, and it goes for 15.99. I'm gonna open it up because this, honestly, when I I was looking at these at like sports stores, and I was like, I wish I can get one of these, and they cost a lot. I, at first, I wasn't gonna get one, but holy crap, feel that. It literally has the texture and everything, and this thing looks sick. I thought there were three different, like a bunch like of... Like separate, right? Yeah. This thing looks epic. I'm like so excited to try That's this. That's gonna look so cool in the mud. It's gonna look so cool. And it has a good rattle to it, too. Guys, this is gonna be a sick lure to try out. Hopefully I can get some good ones on this. Alright. We got that. What's the next one? The Swimming Claw. It goes for a 233 for a 4-pack. And it's by... Big Bite Baits. Oh, the other one was by Live Target. Yeah, that's Live Target. These are Big Bite Baits crawls. I'm going to take one of them out so you guys can see. And I've heard a lot of good things from these dudes, honestly. Let me see. Yeah, no. Yeah. It's pretty sick. This is in the color. Let me see. It doesn't say, but it's like a pumpkin color with red flakes on it. I don't know if you guys can see it clear, but this thing looks pretty legit. You know, it's pretty fat, too. Yeah, it's a pretty fat crawl. All right, get back in there Next with your other friend. Next thing is a ringworm seven inch. A ringworm seven inch. Mhm. Mm it's by Bonehead Tackle and goes for one eighty for a four pack. These are them right here, and I was happy when I saw these because I was planning on getting some June bug colors, and lo and behold, the ringworm. Came in a June bug color. I like these because they're easy to hide. When you Texas rig them, I like because you don't really have to hide the hook. They go naturally in the rings. Yeah. So it's like a it's a ribbon tail on like that new bait that we got. Yeah, there. we got some power bait. We'll show you later. And, and it's I, literally a mix between a ribbon tail and that power bait that we got. Yeah. We'll show you after. All right. I'm really not a good fisherman, and those are easy to, for me to rig up and not. Go so. All right. What's the next thing? Uh, it's gonna be a four shaken point. Four shaken PT. It's a finesse worm. 
and it goes for 70 cents for a pack. And it's by Vicious Fishing. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do with these guys. These guys are so small, I don't even know how the heck I'm going to hook them. I mean, I'll do them. Yeah. I obviously, I, it's going to be a, quite a like, thing to try hooking these, but honestly, I see how it goes. So this is again vicious, and again it's like in a pumpkin color. It, they call it Watt Candy W A T. Alright, so the next thing's gonna be a swinging rugby jig, three quarter ounce. These things are heavy. You want? You ready, guys? Listen, listen. It's like. Are you sure they're from that? Look like this is the Yeah. Look at that. That thing is huge, but it's going to be sick bringing something up to this. We only got a two pack, but I wonder how these things would do. Let's see. Okay. And last Next, but not least. Bait meat live bass. So there is a free sample of fish attractants. So you basically put this on the lures and you get a big fish. We'll see about that. I half want to open it and smell it, but you know. And then of course, we got my sticker. All right. Yeah. Let's put everything back in here. And we're moving on now. Let's switch seats. Okay. Alright, you move there, I move this way. We're switching seats, guys. Alright. Let me fix this a little angle better. Alright, guys. So now I'm going to show you my tackle box because I've pulled a lot of new things in here just over the you know, couple of days. So I'm not going to show you the stuff that I already showed you. I'll show you a lot of the new stuff. So we got our craws, which are basically trailers. A new thing that we got were, were these, the, um, the Zoom Flukes. I got them in albino. I want to get the Super Flukes though. Um, those are the better ones, guys. I, I, if I were to get either regular Flukes or Super Flukes, I would go with the Super Flukes. These are, these are all right, but the thing with these is they're very thin, so it's hard to rig them. I tried them today, and they were, um, they, they didn't really catch me, so like... Alright, next thing we got, this, before we even show you, this caught us the most fish today, alright? So the first thing we caught, uh, that we got here, these are the Powerbait 5.5 inch rib snakes, and these were, these are by Berkeley, Berkeley Powerbaits. I'm gonna show you these, these things are like heaven. 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 It's uh, pumpkin green with blue and like green flakes in it, and this thing moves in the water. If I were you guys, I'd Texas rig this with a bullet weight, and you'd be amazed at all the fish you get with this. Literally, first cast in, we threw it, and we would catch fish. That's how crazy it was. Yeah, five fish on that today. Nothing Think else, just that. Next thing we got, we got two tournament series. I got these from Bass Pro Shops. The, these two we bought at uh, our local store. These other stuff that I'm gonna be showing you now were from Bass Pro Shop. So we got tournament series uh, sticko worms, I think. Yeah, they're sticko worms. So the first one is a white and a chartreuse color. I mean a yellow, sorry, yellow, white, yellow, chartreuse, it's whatever. I don't know what you guys wanna call it. Then the next ones we got are called uh, Morning Dawn, which are pretty nice. I'm gonna open these up, because I want you to see how, like, Cool they look. It's so sick. They look legit. Alright. I really like the feel of them, but and this one, the plastic's really, really tight. Yeah, they're rough. But honestly they're they're not bad. Okay. No. Let's go. On to the next ones. You saw my Senkos already. You know what what I have. I have the Senko kit. You know about my worm kit. I have all those too. Alright, here's another one. Oh, just for the fun of it, I made a, j a new jig, basically, with a trailer, which is pretty sick. It's black, black and blue, and then I took one of the power baits that got like destroyed by a bass, and I put the tail of it, and look, it looks like a sick jig. I call this like a mermaid. <laughs> or like some sea dragon, but it's I pretty mean, it, sick. if it works, it works. Yeah. Now, also, we got um, some tubes. I am trying tubes this time. I haven't tried them yet. Uh, when we go out, I'm going to definitely try these. Um, I mean, I tried it for like a second today, and it caught a lot of weeds, so it back Yeah, it it's just a the lake that we were fishing today that wasn't that well. Then I also decided to buy myself a black and red um, buzzbait. 
I, I've heard a lot of people use these or the spinner baits, and I've heard a lot of them use it, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try myself. I, I rarely use those, I don't know why, it's just not my thing. Okay, another one, here we go. So, I don't know why I bought this. I originally was planning on getting like the smaller version, and I, I, I wasn't reading, I wasn't paying attention, and I ended up getting a DT-14 <laughs> by Rapala. It's a baby bass. Um, honestly, it's just in my box for uh, looks, because I really can't use this at the places that we fish. This thing dives 14 feet. None of the, where I, I mean, fish, I mean, I didn't stop me from trying, but you know what? When I go out to like the bigger reservoirs and other places like that, I'll probably pop this guy out and use him. From what the way, ugh. Sorry about that. And the way it moves in the water, it's worth it because it honestly looks so crazy. It looks like a legit fish in the water. So, yeah, the DT-14. Um, <laughs> don't ask me, guys. While fishing today, you know, we found this. I was, it's a buzz bait. It's like a buzz one. It's a buzz crank. And one thing, guys, if you guys are fishing and you see any, like, trash or, like, used lures, just pick them up. Because I was so close to stepping on this, and just imagine getting one of these rusty hooks in your in your foot, you know. So guys, literally pick up after yourself, or if you see any other stuff in the water, pick it up. You know, you want to keep. You want to keep the actual place that you fish clean, you know. All right, on to the last thing I think. This is called a bomber, and it's um square bill. And I haven't tried this one out yet, and I'm going to try it out soon. It's like a cool color. I want to get more of these, but um. Never know. And the last thing, sorry, last thing. Yeah, I, I need to take that off. Sorry about that. This is uh another. It's a booyah frog, black and uh yellow. I have a regular one. This is my regular, and then I have a white. My regular frog, is, and then this guy. My regular frog is huge, but. I needed another color, you know, just then that. Yeah, and this is the white one. I rarely use him because he's just a little midget one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, sorry about this white thing. This was from my shorts. I decided it was smart enough to put a frog in my shorts and it caught to the padding, so I need to cut that off later. But um, yeah, the booyah, booyah, I needed a new frog. I can just be going on one color, you know, you need uh, different colors depending on the day and time, you know. That and your so. last frog was eaten up. Yeah, my last frog got eaten up. By a snapping turtle. By a freaking snapping turtle. All right, let me see if there's any other things in here. Yes, there is. I bought some new hooks. These guys are shiny. Three uh, extra wide gaps. And then I also got these. These I totally recommend. Weedless hooks by, I think it's... Um, Can you use them? Yeah, KVDs are good for wacky rigging. You know, I definitely suggest that. So um, yeah, that's basically a full tour of what I have in my tackle box. Um, hope you guys. Hmm? Yeah, I'll put pictures in also, just so you can see of like the fish that we caught. We caught a nice spotted uh, bass. I caught it. <laughs> she caught the spotted bass. All right. So what? It's still a fish. It's my video channel, so I get to find my fish. Yeah. So it was a nice spotted bass, um, and honestly, those are rare in these ponds that we have in, in lakes here, because there's mostly just little bass and stuff. And this guy was a decent like 1.5. I couldn't figure out how to get the hook off because he had gone off to the bathroom. Yeah. He gone off to the bathroom, so I was screaming for him, and I kind of just shook the fish a little, see if he could get it out on his own. All right. Other than that embarrassing story, guys, uh, hope you liked the video. Comment, rate, and subscribe. This is Mike from Fishing Flukes. See you later.